In this video, I want to discuss faith and public speaking, where the two intersect, and some of the uh, things that are important for Christians to consider in public speaking, and why it's important for Christians to uh, be effective public speakers in the first place. So let's start with why it's important for Christians to, to kind of develop these public speaking skills and, and utilize these public speaking skills. Um, first of all, it's important for articulating the gospel, our ability to share our faith with others and to, and to just, uh, you know, share uh, the Christian ideals with others. We're, we're called to do that, and public speaking is one way that we can do that. Even if it's not in front of a large audience, developing these public speaking skills and learning to articulate the gospel in that way can help us articulate the gospel and share the gospel in other ways as well, through interpersonal means and, and just one-on-one -on -one means and through uh, small group areas and things. So uh, it helps with our ability to articulate the gospel and, and share our faith in that way as we're called to do. It's also important for Christians in our civic responsibility. We have a duty to be involved in um, the the workings of our community, and uh, and so as, as well as the government, but not just through the government, through through all kinds of ways. So um, we have a civic responsibility to to speak up and to, um, to to take part in these types of of things, whether that's through voting issues and and or whether it's through um, you know talking about issues at our local schools and, and just in our communities in general, we have a civic responsibility to not only represent ourselves as individuals, but represent our faith um, through ourselves uh, and represent our faith in that way um, through civic responsibility. Even if it doesn't have to do with explicitly um, Christian ideals or, or something like that, we still have a, a responsibility to be engaged in the community and, and be representatives of our faith in our community. We also use public speaking as Christians to speak up for others. When we see social injustice uh, at a on a large scale, or we see someone being harassed or or um, or discriminated against in a in a small scale, uh, we have a, a responsibility as Christians to speak up for them and to uh, to um, use our speaking skills and the, and the gifts that God has given us in terms of communication in those ways to speak up for others um, who may be disadvantaged or or may be discriminated being discriminated against or whatever along those lines we have that responsibility as christians as well and uh, finally in our defense of christian values and this sort of goes with civic responsibility but even on smaller scales as we defend our christian values um, with our children um, and in our schools and just in our in our churches and things our ability to articulate those ideas and really express them effectively is important for the defense of our christian values in general and uh, and our and our commitment to to, to walking in with God in, in our everyday lives. So public speaking skills are important for all of these reasons. Also, we need to remember that as Christians, though, we have certain values that we need to represent in rhetoric and, and keep in mind as we engage in public speaking. First, we need to understand the power of language. That language is incredibly powerful. We need to use it wisely, and uh, and we need to use it um, within the, the guidelines that God has given us and, and not, you know, it, to borrow a line from Uncle Ben, Spider-Man's Uncle Ben, with great power comes great responsibility, right? So uh, we have this great power in language, and we need to use it responsibly. We need to use it in a way that, that honors God and that follows his, um, his will in our lives and, and not use it in a way that exploits people or, or seeks to um, undertake something that God would not approve of or not wish us to be involved in and not just to invoke his name in those ways. So we need to very carefully use and, and understand the power of language as Christians who are engaging in public speaking. We also need to be able to listen well. We need to be able to listen well because we need to understand our audience. We need to, um, and we'll talk about that in just a second, but we need to, to understand and respect um, their perspective as well and, and also listen well so that we know how to best address them. Um, but just listen well to the, the world around us and also listen well to God's, God's will, God's guidance and, and where he's leading us. So uh, as public speakers, we have an enormous amount of power and, and we need to listen well to, to understand where God is leading us to use that as well. We need to know our audience. Um, one of the greatest examples of this, uh, you know, inside or outside of the Christian world is the Apostle Paul. Uh, and, and Paul did a great job of shaping his message to different audiences. You know, when he was in Athens, he, he spoke uh, in a way that the Athenians would appreciate. That the, the, he spoke to them as, as philosophers and people who believed that they were very learned. When he was in largely Jewish communities, he called upon his history as a, as a Jew and his, his you know, history as a, as a Pharisee and, and connected with them, connected the gospel to them and with them 
from the perspective of a Jew, and and he spoke to some people as Romans because he was also a Roman citizen, and so he he really got to know his audience. His message didn't change. His message was always the gospel, simply and straightforwardly. But the way he presented it and the way he approached it was very different from audience to audience. We need to handle that in the same way. We need to know our audience. It doesn't change the fact that we're Christians. It doesn't change our stance on something. But it does change the way that we approach them, the strategies that we, that we might use, the type of language that we might use to best um, inform or persuade that audience. Uh, and just... We just need to know our audience, and we need to respect them as well. We need to listen to them, to harken back to that. We need to listen to our audience to not only better inform us as speakers, but, but just because it's the right thing to do. We need to understand our audience before we speak to them and, and understand them even as we speak to them and make those adjustments. But we need to know our audience really, really well. We also need to understand that all messages inherently involve our faith, no matter what we're talking about doesn't matter if we're sharing the gospel. That's, that obviously involves our faith. But even if we're talking about you know, levels of taxation, or if we're talking uh, about uh, other civic type things, uh, it inherently involves our faith because our faith shapes our perspective in every way. It should inform our perspective and shape our perspective in every way. So therefore, every message that we discuss inherently involves our faith. Okay? So we need to have our faith and, and, our, and our values and, and God's will in our mind at all times when we're sharing these things. Again, regardless of what the topic is. If we're talking about the environment, well, we need to understand what does God, uh, God, had, God tell us about conservation in the environment? What biblically should we, should we understand about that? Even if we're not invoking the Bible in our speech, when we frame our ideas, we need to understand that, that as a person of faith, okay, how does, how does being a person of faith shape my view of ecological conservation? or finances, or taxation, or all of these things, right? So some messages are going to be more clearly connected to our faith, things like abortion, things like uh, gay marriage, things like that will probably be, you know, obviously involve our faith even more directly, but even when it doesn't seem like, you know, this isn't, a, this isn't the gospel, I'm not sharing the gospel, I'm not sharing something sp- explicitly about my faith, but you are a person of faith, and so that informs uh, your your perspective on that and should inform then your efforts as a speaker as well. And finally, we need to take it seriously. We need to understand, again, that the public speaking is very powerful and, and as such carries with it great responsibility and it's something we ought to undertake with the greatest seriousness. Um, when God gives you a gift as a, as, a, as a speaker or allows you to develop those skills, even more so and gives you opportunities to speak, again, whether it's about the gospel, whether it's about your faith, or whether it's about something that seems totally irrelevant to, to faith. Uh, we know, as I just said, that it's not totally irrelevant, though. Uh, and so, so regardless of what the topic is, we have a responsibility as people of faith to, to, to honor God in the way that we speak and the way that we address these topics, and that means taking it seriously, giving it our full faith and effort. Okay. Uh, mostly, as public speakers, we need to remember that we are planting seeds. Right? Uh, that's what this image represents. We're planting seeds. You never know what seeds you're planting, and you may never see those those seeds come to fruition and be reaped, but when we plant seeds, people look at us, if you're talking about a topic that's totally non-faith related, let's say you're talking about farming, or you're talking about taxation, you're talking about whatever, and even if you don't invoke the Bible, you don't invoke God's name, you don't even tell people that you're a Christian, but maybe they know, so they're observing you. They're taking that in and saying, is this how a Christian behaves? And what does that mean to me? So, and certainly when you're sharing the gospel and sharing your faith, you're planting seeds explicitly in that regard. And so, But every time we, we take the stage or, or step up to the podium or have an opportunity to address a crowd as a public speaker, we are potentially planting seeds for how people see Christians, for how people see God, and how people relate to that. So we need to take it with the utmost seriousness, be very responsible with every aspect of it. We need to honor the audience. We need to, to listen to them. We need to, to respect the language that we're using. Uh, we need to do all of this, right? And remember that every, every speech we give is, is, some, is a faith-based speech, basically, regardless of the topic, uh, because all of that goes into planting these seeds. If you have questions about this or any other content uh, related to public speaking, feel free to email me. I'm happy to respond to emails and, and communicate with you via email. Um, so, but thanks.